Today, we're talking all about the brand new TT Artisan 56 millimeter F 1.8 lens, which is an autofocus lens for Fujifilm cameras. So let's get right to it. What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining me as always. Now, before we get into this review, just a reminder that TT Artisan, although they sent me this lens, they have no idea what I'm about to say. They will find out exactly at the same time you do, and we're all going to find out together. Now, I've been using this lens for a while. I used it for some concert photography. I used it for some street photography and I used it at a recent portrait shoot with my friend who is an awesome trumpet player living in New York. And so I have a lot to say about it, but before we get to that, let's talk first about what comes in the box. So you get a front, a rear lens cap, and a lens hood. The cool thing about this lens cap is that it actually has a USB-C port right in the lens cap and it has contacts on it. So when you want to upgrade your firmware, you just need to put the lens cap and you must make sure you line up the dots properly so it's connecting properly. You put the lens cap on, plug it into the lens cap, and that's how you update the firmware. Now, the, this is super cool because obviously, instead of having a USB-C port on the barrel of the lens, which some lenses do, it's just on the cap. So just make sure you don't lose the lens cap, the rear lens cap. It comes with a front lens cap. Yay for lens caps. And it comes with this cool square sort of retro lens hood. And I really like this lens hood for a number of reasons. First, um, when you put it on the lens, it just looks super cool. Can we see that? Hold on. There it is. It looks super cool. But obviously more important than that, um, it works. It helps to reduce flare because this thing does have a lot of flare, but um, it helps to reduce the flare. And the cool thing about it too, the shape is it helps to protect your lens too, because it's kind of very difficult to get the lens hood over the lens cap. Like you don't want to do that. It just doesn't make sense because then you have to take the lens hood off to take the lens cap off. It's like a whole process. So you're not going to do that. What you'll do is instead of using the lens cap, you just use the lens hood. That's how I've been using it. So it provides a little bit of protection um, because of the way it's shaped. And I found that to work out fine. Let's talk about the build quality. Now for a lens that costs $160 US, this thing is built really, really well. Um, it's metal which is nice. The whole thing is basically made of metal. Uh, it has a large, smooth focusing ring if you want to manually focus, and it has a metal lens mount. But at the same time, it's pretty light. It's not, I mean, it's very light, actually. It doesn't weigh much. So it's really a nice lens for a small Fuji camera. Now, I've used it on my X-T5 for the images in this review, but I also use it on my X-Pro1, and it really fits nice on that smaller, lighter camera. So if you're looking for something that has a nice build, a nice fit and finish that is light, this might be a good option for you. So now let's talk about autofocus. Overall, the autofocus is okay. Now, this lens has a stepping motor, which is not good or bad, it's just, it is what it is, it's a stepping motor. And there are a couple of things that are not great about it. Let's talk about the good stuff first. For just everyday portrait shooting, and even when I did some concert photography, it, it did a good job of finding the eyes and locking the focus on them. And TT Artisan says that it has some kind of eye tracking built into the lens, uh, which I couldn't figure out what exactly that means. So, but it did say it on their website where it has all the features of the lens. So I did find for just everyday kind of shooting, uh, if people or subjects aren't moving fast, it was fine. But for, say, kids uh, on their bikes, like I tried to photograph mine um, with this lens, it didn't really follow them very well. It had a little bit of trouble uh, just moving fast enough to lock it into focus, which is kind of what I expected. Um, and then there was one other weird thing with the autofocus that I found. When I tried to go from infinity to something very close, uh, the lens just didn't want to 
move a couple of times. So it just wouldn't focus. So what I had to do in that situation was I put the lens on manual and then I manually focused close to the object that was closer, put it back on autofocus and then it was fine. All right, now let's talk about the most important thing in my opinion, image quality. I have to say that I was really, really impressed with the image quality of this lens. I went back after I did my portrait shoot with my buddy Wayne. I did a bunch of shots with this, but then I also used my Fuji lenses. I used my 50 F1 and I used my 35 F1.4 and I used my 16 to 55 28. These images held up really nicely side by side with those. They're very sharp. They have a lot of detail. I don't think you're going to find anything to fault them on for that if you're looking for a lens in this price range. So check out some of these images I took. All right, so I feel like for the price range, there's really nothing to complain about with those images. Um, now, if I did a pixel peeping and a side-by-side -side comparison with my Fuji images, yes, they're not gonna be as sharp, they're not gonna have as much uh, contrast, the color is a little bit different and all of that, but for the price range of this lens, you're getting more than I expected that it was gonna give as far as just the overall quality of the images. All right, so the magic question, should you buy this lens? Well, how should I know? I have no idea what your financial situation is like. You might be up to your eyeballs in debt. But seriously, for the price point, I do think this should be like near the top of your list. If you're looking for a lens that's like under $200 for portraits, that's gonna give you very good quality, decent autofocus, a nice user experience, yeah, check it out. I think you'll really like it. And I think this is going to be a lens that if you don't want to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on, say, even a higher end or a more expensive third party lens, check it out. And uh, yeah, there you go. So thank you, TT Artisan, for sending me this lens. I've enjoyed using it. I hope you enjoyed this review on this lens. If you did, please subscribe to the channel hit that like button. Most of you watching my videos, you don't subscribe for some reason. I don't know why, because if you do, it just gives me more reasons and resources to make more videos. So if you like my reviews, you like what I have to say, you like the images that I create, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and definitely drop me a comment and hit the like button because all of that helps YouTube's algorithmic stuff so that this review will appear for other people to check it out. Also, make sure you go and check out my friends at b &H Photo in New York. I am a b &H affiliate and I say all the time that b &H is super, super amazing to small content creators like me. So please support them. And then if you purchase through one of my links in the description below, they know that people are actually buying stuff <laughs> that I recommend and they know that, okay, we should keep supporting Pete. Here's wishing you an awesome day, everyone. Go out and take some great pictures. I will see you in the next one. Peace.